I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to find limits when absolute functions are involved. Remember absolute functions are piecewise functions, right? Question before us is limit of function absolute value of 2x minus 5 times x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 5 where limit is x approaching 5 over 2. So what you will notice here is that if I substitute 5 over 2, then my numerator and denominator, they become 0 over 0, right? So directly by substitution, we cannot find the limit. Now in this particular case, uh, let us write, rewrite this function with a limit x approaching 5 over 2. You could write 2.5 also. And I will write this as combination of the absolute function with its linear counterpart which is 2x minus 5 times x plus 1. And now we will analyze this part which is absolute value of 2x minus 5 divided by 2x minus 5. Now how do you define absolute value of 2x plus 5? So let's define it on the right side and try to understand. So let us say this is our function g of x, which is absolute value of 2x minus 5. Now, if you have to sketch this function, basically, it is a function which could be sketched approximately as uh, moving 5 by 2 units to the right, right? So, that means at 2.5, this will give you 0. So, I'll, I'm just sketching roughly like this. So, this point is 2.5 for me. So this point is 2.5. On the other hand, if you sketch the function, let me call the other function as h of x, which is equals to 2x minus 5. Then 2x minus 5 is, is a line which on this part will overlap, right? And on this part will be negative of the absolute function. So when you divide one by the other, then positive divided by positive will give you positive and that to positive 1 since their magnitude is same. But positive divided by negative will give you negative 1. Do you understand? So that all depends where you are. So that means we have to analyze on two sides of 2.5. You get the idea. So the vertex of the absolute function actually divides the function into two piecewise functions where one half of the piece is actually 2x minus 1 and the other half is negative of 2x minus 5 correct so that is why whenever you're trying to find limits for absolute function we should consider two parts and that is one on the right side of 2.5, let me write, and we can include 2.5 in this half on right side of 2.5, and then to the left side of 2.5. Now, in this particular case, since we have a discontinuity, we say that x is not equal to uh, 2.5, since that gives us a discontinuity. We can of course find the limit since we are approaching that point, right? So we are not right quite there. So we can actually actually find the limit. So we need not even write equal to here, right? So we can still find the limit at 2.5 by approaching it from both the sides. So this side for us will be treated as the right side, approaching from the right side, right? And this will be approaching from the left side. When I say right and left, it really means what? We'll find the limit of the function when x approaches. Let me write this as 2.5 from the negative side of the whole function, right? And here we'll find limit of the function as x approaches 2.5 but from the right side, from this side. So that is what I'm trying to say. I hope this point is absolutely clear. Now as you can see, depending on which side of the x value takes, whether it is on left of 2.5 or right of 2.5, the absolute function is defined in a different way. Absolute function, g of x, let me now redefine it 
right here g of x could be written as 2x minus 5 when x is greater than or equals to 2.5 and is negative of 2x minus 5 when x is less than 2.5 right so that is how uh, g of x is defined uh, which I have shown in red okay now based on this we will write down rewrite our function and then find the limit from both the sides if you get the same limits from both the sides limit exists if you don't then the limit does not exist so that is a constant so we'll write the function we'll have limit of the function and I've already written this part from the left side so if I am considering left side we can say we are on this side that means the numerator absolute 2x minus 1 could be written as minus of 2x minus 5 and then we have the other factor which is x plus 1 divided by the denominator which is 2x minus 5 now that is the function when we are looking from left side now this we could rewrite again as limit x approaches 2.5 from the negative side now these two factors cancel out and so what we get is negative of x plus 5 x plus 1 and now we can substitute 2.5 here and once we substitute 2.5 we get negative 3.5 as our limit when we are approaching from the left side you got the idea so that is the limit from the left side let us now calculate the limit from the right side so when we are working on the right side, absolute value of 2x minus 5 should be written as 2x minus 5, correct? That is on the right side. Times x plus 1 divided by the denominator, which is 2x minus 5. Now in this case, both 2x minus 5, 2x minus 5 cancel out. And what we get is limit of the function when x is approaching 2.5 from the positive side the right side limit as equals to x plus 1 now if I substitute 2.5 here what do I get I get 3.5 and that too positive do you understand now since left side limit is not equal to right side limit right right side limit what do we conclude limit does not exist for f of x at as 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 x approaches you should write as not at right you're always approaching as x approaches 5 by 2 correct so so that is what the result is I hope you understand and appreciate the concept. Let me sketch the whole function here. So if I have to sketch the whole function, it will look like, look like this. Let's do it. So what we found here is, when you are working on the left side, the equation is minus x plus 5. And left side of what? Left side of 2.5. Do you understand? 2.5. But when you are on the right side, it is 3.5. So it is 3.5, let us say this point is 3.5 for us. And the slope, the equation is x plus 1, slope is 1. So we have a graph going like this, right? But when you are on the left of 2.5, in that case, the equation is minus x. The slope is negative, right? And the value is minus 3.5. Now in this equation, if I put x as 0, I get minus 1. So minus 1 could be a good point to take. So I could connect these two and sketch do you see that now that is the graph of our given function so this is minus 1 for us and this point is 2.5 for us and this point is 3.5 and here we have minus 3.5 so with this diagram I think everything comes together the function basically can be graphed as shown here right so that is our function f of x where if we are on the left side of 2.5, it is minus x plus 1. And the limit as we approach 2.5 approaches minus 3.5. But if we are on the right side, then the function is plus x plus 1 as shown here. And the limit 
as x approaches 2.5 from the right side is plus 3.5. Now since these two limits are not the same, the limit does not exist at 5.2. And this kind of discontinuity is called what? Jump discontinuity. So we also call this as jump discontinuity. So in most of the examples dealing with uh, absolute functions, you might get jump discontinuity and the reason will be that the left side limit does not match with the right side limit. So that is an extremely good example. We'll follow up with few more and that will give you good practice. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.